Hello, I'm Carlos Huerta and this is a video tutorial on how to use US Max Fusion's educational platform as an instructor. Once we have logged in and we're inside our course, we're going to see the video presentation previously re recorded by the expert and then under the uh, video presentation we're going to see the different tools that are part of our course. Course description, forums, Dropbox and users. Now, this is not how students see these tools and your course room. In order to see how students see your course, it, uh, you're going to use this button here that says switch to a student view and when you click on it you're going to see how students see your course. Obviously it looks nicer, it's nicer because it doesn't come with the all the um, editing tools that instructors um, get. Let's go back to uh, the instructor view and um, we're going to go into course description. You're going to see here the um, information about the course, uh, the um, description of the course, the uh, bio data of the expert and then the different additional resources that are part of the course. These could be uh, links to uh, external pages this could be downloadable pdfs now you have the ability to edit or change the content of these sections by using this pencil tool so if you click there you're going to see this window where you can actually edit the content of uh, this particular section now i'm not gonna do that it's already good to go but I just, I'm just letting you know you can edit the information. Now, you probably are going to see everywhere these eyes. Now, when you click on the eye, um, then what's going to happen is that this particular section is going to be deactivated. So students are not going to see this section. So it is important that we keep the sections that on the, or the tools that we're going to use with our eye activated which is open okay so we need to see all our eyes open let's go into the forums um, section and again you see a bunch of buttons everywhere because you have the ability to um, edit this content but if you switch to a student's view Obviously, uh, students are not going to see this. This our students are going to see this uh, very clean interface. Let's go back to uh, the teacher's view, and let's go into the personal introductions uh, forum. Now, this is the first forum, and this is the uh, thread that participants are going to uh, go in and respond and interact with other participants. So, if you click here again what you're going to see is the first participation of the instructor. In this case, it says welcome, introduce yourselves, etc. And you can change and edit the content of um, this by using this pencil tool. And then you can change this content or the title and then you just edit it save by uh, clicking on edit thread you can go back and um, you can do the same for the questions and answers forum conclusions forum okay now this um, lock here icon represents uh, whether the this particular forum is open or closed if we in this case, for example, um, the forum is locked, so participants can see the forum, can see the content of it, but uh, they cannot participate in it. So um, I'm going to, now that the uh, lock is uh, open, then it means that the uh, forum is open and participants can add to it. Do not use the pencil tool here only use the pencil tool once you are inside the forum thread 
here you can use the pencil tool and edit this content don't edit the previous uh, sections because then you're going to um, change other settings okay now let's um, take a look at this uh, tool called Dropbox and here basically uh, this tool lets you share files with participants we're not going to use this tool because we have already shared the files or links uh, with participants through this uh, section course description under course resources so if it is really necessary you know you can use this tool but I would just not use it if it is not necessary and then we uh, have the last tool which is the users tool and basically this lists their uh, participants that are uh, enrolled in the course and that will be taking the course so and this will give you an idea of who they are and what institution they are from okay so i hope this video tutorial has helped you um, understand how to use the uh, educational platform as an instructor uh, please send me an email at carlos at usmexfusion.org if you have any questions i'd be happy to answer Thank you and have a good day.